it's been some time since I created a, a video. I haven't been working on any of the cars. Well, I'm redoing my bushes and waiting for parts. But I thought I'd create this video on the various fans use and viscous couplings used on the stag. So here I got a couple of samples of bits and pieces. So the fan for the Mark 1 stag is shown here. And what I have here is a fan for a federal stag. This actually came off a federal Mark II stag with air conditioning. So what I've come to the conclusion and I, is from talking to people that the stags that have or came fitted with factory air conditioning come with a metal fan. And that fan number is, I think, this fan here. Now, these are the, let's put this away for a moment. This is the viscous coupling that came with that fan. And you'll notice there's a little bit on the end. That part in the book is part number 159153. And I got this from a friend. So what I'm thinking is that the US Federal Stags, Mark II that is, uses the pulley, possibly, well, not necessarily, I think when they put a Mark II So this, this came off a federal Mark II stag, and you can see it's got that piece there, which is part number 159, 153 in the parts book that's there. So I have a couple of things I, I don't, don't have with me, but the book does show different pulley numbers used on the stag. So the pulley number with cars with they can use the uh, metal fan and the mark one pulley is actually the same number it's a one five 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 one two so i'm assuming what happened was to get a fan for a mark two federal stag onto a mark one pulley you needed this adapter on the vixus coupling now, this viscous coupling, I think, is this part number here, which is 159152. And this one, as I said. Now, this, this is my Mark 1 fan. And you notice the uh, holes don't line up. And so you need a different viscous coupling for the Mark 1 stag and that's that's what's known and i think it's there it's numbered one was it one five five viscous coupling is uh, there you go one five five four three six i don't have one of those to show but as i started collecting parts which now i feel a bit bummed i actually bought i do have a Mark II stag that one day I'll put on the road. So I said, oh, okay, I'll get a Mark II fan and a Mark II viscous coupling. This was a viscous coupling I got from somebody. But as you can see, there's a nice piece of chunk taken out. I went and picked up this one from S&G Barrett's in US. And that one is a part number, I think, the TKC101. I did find out, doing some research, BMWs of that period used the same... Uh, part number I can try and dig it out again. There was a, a, a place that manufactures these and I put in a part number and a BMW I think 7 series came up for this. Anyway, so 
over time, I was able to get somehow this viscous coupling. Again, this is a uh, viscous coupling for the which came, which also matches up with the uh, metal fan. So in theory, another thing that I found out is that let's put these back here. This the holes on this TK. C101 do line, line up on this metal fan. Let's put it here for now. Let's just move this away. Put that there. So in it does look like it fits. So in theory I just spend a hundred something dollars on something that I really didn't need because I could have used hopefully any one of these if they're any good. Now people say if you can spin them and they slow down they're, they're, they're okay. These I can't really move too much. They're, I think they're okay but I will test them when one day when I get the car back on the road. But again just wanted to show you all the different configurations I feel this adapter here, which is the uh, 159153, is not definitely not used on the Mark II, because the Mark II pulley is different. I do recall somebody saying the Mark II pulley has a has a uh, flange actually well in, integrated into the uh, pulley, so it does away with this little bit here, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't have a Mark II pulley, but if someone can tell me, That'd be really great. So again, um, I was fortunate enough to get two of these. Seems a shame that I had to spend a hundred something bucks on one of these. But nice thing is, I also picked up a fan from uh, UK, Tony White. And now I'm thinking, ah, I didn't really need a fan. I could have used uh, this metal fan. But, you know, sod's law is that you start procuring these parts and then people start giving you these items for free. I got this one. This is a nice Mark One fan. I got this one with an engine I just picked up uh, a few uh, weeks ago. So, and I have do have two Mark One stags. So, hopefully, I can use that as spare. Unfortunately, this couple of actually it seems to bearing seems okay, but it had broken. So, unfortunately, it's going to be unbalanced. It would be nice if I could figure out how to. If it could be balanced, but since I have so many, uh, I probably wouldn't bother with it. But anyway, that's my sort of eight-minute talk on fans for the Triumph Stag. So, you know, as I said, if you haven't seen this one, this is for a federal stag with air conditioning. Maybe also the uh, Australian stags had the uh, air conditioning set up as well.